No, no, that's where I draw the line. That is uh, no joke and aside. A man should never, under any circumstances, hit a woman. Eh? Yeah. That's me in 1995. I'm at the Montreal Just for Laughs Comedy Festival, and I'm about to deliver the punchline to what is one of the darkest and possibly funniest jokes that I've ever done. Coincidentally, just a couple of months before Matt Reif was born. I know I'm way behind on my outrage to-do list. I should be on to A.I. George Carlin by now, never mind Dave Chappelle, Cat Williams, and Joe Coy. Anyway, back to Matt Reif. Now, I want to make it very clear that I would never call out another comedian for doing a joke about any subject, no matter how dark, disturbing, or potentially offensive it might be. Partially because I'm a strong proponent of free speech, but also because, as I said in my 2022 comedy album, Unchecked... And oh, and here's the thing, it's subjective, right? So what's funny to you might not be funny to anyone else, but it's funny to you. You might be a sick fuck. <laughs> Again, I would never call out another comedian for telling a joke. But I will call out another comedian for telling a bad joke. And by that, I don't mean whether it's funny or not. That's not for me to decide. What I mean by a bad joke is one that's badly written, badly executed, or in this case, based on a completely unoriginal, seriously outdated, and frankly hack premise. I already knew about the joke because the internet was blowing up about it. So, but even if I didn't, I could have seen it coming a thousand miles away. I'm sure most other comedians could as well. And I bet even some audience members. You know, and I get why he did it. He's trying to establish himself as an edgy comedian. You know, He even says in the special, uh, I figure if I open with a domestic abuse joke, everything else should be clear sailing. You know? So the message he's trying to send is, ooh, you never know what to expect. But the underlying message I'm getting is, maybe don't expect too much. In my opinion, and this is just my opinion based on my very limited 40-plus years as a stand-up comedian, if you're going to tell a joke about a subject that is dark or controversial, it better be a damn good joke. It should have a, an original premise, a left-field twist, and it should be funny. I mean fucking funny, and not just funny to you. Because when you drop that punchline, you do not want to hear uncomfortable silence and a few nervous laughs. You need to blow up the room. So back to me in 1995. Now, I feel bad because I kind of misled you a little bit. You see, due to the bizarre nature of copyright law, I can't actually show you the full performance, even though I'm the one doing the performing. However, I have something even better. You see, recently... I brought this bit back into my act, and on top of that, I've come up with a brand new punchline that puts it absolutely over the top. I'm going to show it to you in a second, but first, I have a personal message for Matt Reif, even though I doubt he's ever going to see this. Listen, kid. Everyone's a kid to me. I think you're an incredible performer. You have amazing stage presence and confidence up the wazoo, and I hear you do pretty good crowd work as well. It's just at the moment, I think you're better than your material. And that'll come, and I truly do wish you all the best. In the meantime, if you want to do material that's dark, edgy, and controversial, this is how it's done. It's a Matt Reif moment, isn't it? It's a... <laughs> Oh, man. All right, just to be clear, a man should never, under any circumstances, hit a woman. Yeah. Yes. But. I think a woman should be allowed to hit a woman. And I think there should be women you can call Uber Beats. <laughs> I'm going to be putting up a lot more video on my YouTube channel, at Foster Funny. So like, share, follow, subscribe, or just complain. <laughs>